Hello everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Elefteria and today I'm going to show you how to do a um, markdown preview with AngularJS. In the top part you will be able to write in a markdown format and then down here um, you will be able to see the output. The markdown it's like uh, when you're writing in GitHub or sometimes it's pretty similar to HTML2. For this project I will be using CodePen and I've already uh, changed some of the basic settings. I'm gonna show you here. Um, you will need a CSS or at least that's what I'm using. And then in the JavaScript tab you will need the Angular of course and then the Sanitize library this sometimes means that inputs are sanitized by parsing the HTML into tokens and all saved tokens are then serialized back to properly escaped HTML string. This means that no unsafe input can make it into the return string. And last but not least, uh, you will need the shutdown library and you can go to the GitHub page and here you can see what the showdown is. And of course, you will find uh, many informations. The things, the thing that we will be using from here is that you can copy and paste the SDN, and then put it back to your uh, code pen or to your HTML page. All right, now save and close, and uh, I think we are ready to start. Alright, for the HTML I'm going to begin my app. First of all you need an ng app and I'm going to name mine as um, Markdown app. The ng directive tells AngularJS that this is the root element of the AngularJS application so that's why you need it and you can do without it. Then you will need the controller. The ng-controller attribute is an AngularJS directive and it defines a controller. And I'm going to name mine as Markdown Controller. Alright. Now I'm gonna write a header. And the only thing I need here is to give it a title like Markdown. Then I'm going to continue with um, a text area and the ng model that equals input. The ng model directive binds the input fields to the controller properties. And you will see that we will use it later uh, both in CSS and in JavaScript. Then you will have a placeholder and in mine like a and your markdown or something like this and then autofocus true and that's it for your text area obviously you don't need either placeholder or autofocus but I will uh, write them because I think it's it's more pleasant to have these two alright now I'm going to have my ng cloak and ng if. The ng cloak is a directive that presents the document from showing um, unfinished AngularJS code while AngularJS is being loaded. And the ng if directive removes the HTML element if the expression evaluates to false. I'm gonna write input dot length greater than zero which means that your input that you have in text area if it is greater than zero then we will see the output if we don't give anything in the markdown area then of course we will get nothing in the output area all right so let's continue with ngbyte html and then we have a pipe or a filter that we will be using later in javascript and we have input or markdown. The ng bind um, HTML is 
is bind with the sanitized library that we talked about earlier. And I'm going also to give a class preview and uh, you will see me using uh, this in CSS. So I think that we are done with HTML. And so let's continue to the CSS or SCSS. You can use, as I mentioned earlier, whatever you like. Uh, now I'm only using CSS for the color and um, I'm going to name here a color light gray. This is a variable in SCSS and I've already found uh, the color that I'm going to be using. And as the name says, it's a light gray color. I will have a body and here I'm going to have three properties. The first one will be background color with the color that we write before, a padding of 1 em, alright, let me write that also, and last but not least you can give a font family or uh, leave the default, but I like this um, Helvetica new, so I think that I'm going to use that, but of course um, you can leave the default as I mentioned. Now let's style a little bit the text area. You don't have to do a lot of things here. First of all, give a width of 100%. Then you can adjust the height. I'm going to give 15 em and then for the parting I'm going to give a 0 0.5 em and I think that uh, it looks good now as for the preview area I'm going to give a background white you don't have to do that also but I think that it will be prettier like this and then give it the same padding as in the text area. Alright, uh, that was the easy part. Now let's continue with the JavaScript that we will be writing in an Angular format. And maybe here are some tricky parts. First, you have to, to start, of course, with Angular dot module. And inside there, you'll have to put your ng up. For me, that's markdown up. And then you will give the ng sanitize. This will be your dependence in this case. Continue with um, the controller. So you need dot controller and then write the controller, which for me is markdown controller and I'm just gonna copy and paste it from the HTML file alright, and then continue with function scope and inside there we will write our first function You need scope dot input equals you can give uh, whatever you like for me it will be something enter your markdown here and now it's like writing HTML but inside the JavaScript so it's has it has a uh, like a weird syntax but that's how we are writing HTML inside the JavaScript. And it's for leaving a line. Alright, and I'm going to give here an example. So somebody that doesn't know what this problem is all about, he can see it and maybe understand it. I'm going to have something like a list here. With first, second. And I, I think that you get the point.
All right, now let's continue with the filter. I mentioned it earlier in the HTML that we are going to need it and that's why we had uh, the pipe. So we have the markdown, then function, and inside there I'm going to have a, bar a variable. I'm going to name it um, converter and this equals to new showdown dot converter. Alright, and these we want to uh, return the variable that we just created, which is the converter dot make HTML. And that's it. Alright, let's test it a little bit. Now you can write in the markdown and you can see the results in the output. Hitting working well. Alright, another example with the heating, but this is another style. I think it's also working fine and I have to learn to spell the heating words. Okay. Now let's see the whole page. And let's test it again. And I want to mention here that you will be able to find all the code um, in the description box. I will leave the link uh, for my CodePen account or for my GitHub account so you can download it and check everything by yourself. Um, if you like this video, please uh, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.